What's going on guys, today we're going to cover one very annoying issue and that is black flickering. So if you're here and watching, most likely you have this issue. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you a few solutions, then we go to advices, tips and tricks, something to try if this doesn't work. So first things first, I've digged deep a lot about any problems pretty much. So we're gonna go to settings, custom shader patch, and we're gonna start with something that I found out. I personally never had this issue to be completely honest uh, until recently that i've somehow managed to force it and it went away I, ne I just never had this issue but if you have this issue one thing that's very worth trying is to go on general patch settings and remove use newer dds loader if you read what it's saying it says might not work with some textures that's exactly what could be happening. The shadows might not work with some textures, so that's why you might be seeing these shadows constantly flickering, and uh, that's why the black flickering could, could occur. So, one big advice, always test these solutions just one by one till you figure out what is actually causing your issue. So, if you need a newer DDS loader doesn't work, don't turn it on yet. We're gonna go now down to this option called shadowed wheels, which CSO, CSO figured out. Thank you very much, buddy, for uh, sharing this. And you might want to disable this option. Then try again and see if you have this black flickering. What this could do, you might have just random uh, black flickering the dash or when you drive somewhere, it could be the traffic. I literally saw it on the traffic. The traffic was just flicking uh, black and stuff like that, which is very annoying. Uh, I just saw it somewhere. So that could be it. Now, another things that are worth checking, fellas. It's always checking your soul and pure. If they're right, if you installed it by drag and drop, there could be faulty. So uninstalling soul pure and even CSP and reinstalling them clean and manually might actually solve the problem for you and help you out. So feel free to check my 100% Rayfix guide. I show everything how to reinstall from scratch. Basically a clean uninstall and then clean manual install and that way you will know when you install them manually you're bulletproof in terms of problems. Another thing that is worth checking before we go into uh, some other advices is to go and check if your PP filter is faulty or maybe some of the settings and something like that but usually just check the PP filter. If you use reshade check the reshade. If you turn off reshade if that's still happening change the PP filter see if that's uh, making any changes or if that's gonna fix it. So it's all about just fellas fixing uh things and uh, troubleshooting is just trial and error and figuring stuff out another first possible solution is that you have not updated your drivers which is very important so when you go to geforce experience you go to drivers if you're using uh course nvidia if you use uh, amd just go to uh, your amd software and uh, update the drivers you see i i still have a driver to download when i was lazy so that's my fault make sure your graphic uh, card drivers are up to date then another thing that's very important is to go and check your windows updates fellas windows updates are extremely important as well make sure to check if that's on if that's uh, good to go so how to know if you're good to go if your windows is up to date any big major system updates on your graphics drivers are downloaded not like mine because i still have a new update that i have an install i'll do that after this video then resort to content manager and everything that i showed you Another thing that is very, very important, fellas, and I even think nowadays is mandatory because a lot of you guys that I help you and fix your game don't have this. So make sure to download these Visual C++ redistributables. They are very important. They work with the new patches for the CSP. So this is a must have. Honestly, it's just worth uh, downloading and installing. It just takes one, two minutes. Nothing to worry about. Something very important, fellas, quick mention of the black screen or the screen flashing black for the people that might have this issue is, fellas, super important on the video settings of a set of course and content manager, make sure you have selected the correct resolution. A lot of you I've seen, uh, you had uh, literally custom and here is like zero and you haven't even selected the correct monitor. Some even of you use like Oculus Rift, which can cause you issues to not even join uh, the server. So please, fellas, I mean, at least make sure your video settings are correct before you even go into the game, right? Uh, you can try full screen or you can just select uh, your monitor and uh, you should be good to go. One more thing that also can cause this are some applications that you've installed. Make sure to disable all the apps 
see if you have this issue still if your monitor is still going black and stuff like that then it's not the applications but if your monitor is not going black that means one of these applications or multiple applications are interfering and the last very important thing about the black screens make sure your DirectX is updated to the latest that of course your uh, system can support so make sure to update everything guys and then check one by one by the method of exclusion remove one application remove one option and test this way so that's everything for today fellas it's just about staying up to date with any possible windows updates graphic drivers whatever and then making sure everything in terms of mods in a set of course is installed properly and correctly for now please like and subscribe it really helps me out leave your comments down below really appreciate the feedback what do you think of the videos and so on we're very close to covering the entire set of course in terms of problems fellas and very soon we'll be just driving and of course i'll be jumping into drift guide i want to thank my supporters uh, a lot thank you very much fellas for supporting me boosting the discord server the youtube members the patrons thank you very much guys for now fellas wish you all the best and we'll see you in the next video